Hello guys and welcome to another Black Desert video. Today I'm going to be discussing about what settings I use in Black Desert which includes the in-game settings, the UI settings, my Nvidia settings and so on so you can make your game look better and hopefully also run smoother. Before I get started with the actual topic, I want to point out that this is going to be very subjective to what PC specs you actually have. So for the sake of this video I'm going to have my PC specs displayed on the screen so you can compare mine to yours and get a better understanding about why the game runs the way it does for me and why it might run better or worse on your computer. Please keep in mind throughout the video that what I'm showing are actually my own settings that I use to make the game look the way it does. So these are not the best settings for performance or for quality. So with that in mind, let's start talking first off about the in-game settings. I'm going to be scrolling through all of them, so if you want you can just copy and paste them, but I'm going to be only briefly discussing about the more important ones. So starting with the textures and graphics, I have those maxed out simply because I can, and I don't really see any downside to dropping them. But if you don't run the game from an SSD, you might want to consider dropping the textures to medium. I don't really pay attention to faraway objects, so I have those disabled. And also I don't use the auto frame optimizer because I either turn the effects on or off myself. Then below that there's an important option which is the graphics card low power mode. This one should always be turned off because all it does is to basically put less power on the GPU and make the game run slower. Scrolling down all the way to the gamma and contrast settings, I use 10% gamma and 20 or 25% contrast. This is very subjective to what monitor you have, but these are my own settings. Basically adjust these two settings until you feel like the in-game lighting looks somewhat realistic. From the audio tab, these are my audio levels if you're interested in them, and also I don't like to use riding music, so that's about it for this tab. The last part of the in-game settings is the game tab, and from here I like to have simplify UI and show attack decision effects checked because I like to see the critical hits on the screen and the simplify UI option makes the UI somewhat transparent on the edges. Also, I keep the recommended pearl item checked because I don't like to see the notifications to buy stuff from the market. Another option that I like to change every now and then is the character name display option because sometimes when I'm in a city I don't want to see the names of every person that walks around me so I just disable other player names while keeping the party and guild ones checked. Scrolling all the way down to notification settings, I don't really want to see everything that gets uh, registered to the marketplace or whatever item someone upgraded, so I have everything checked uh, besides the guild quest notifications. Sometimes I have those checked as well, but most of the time I don't uh, want to have them checked, as in I like to still see those. Another important option is the pet settings. From here, I'm not sure what is the default option, but always have view my pets only or hide all pets, because if you look at every single pet from every character, especially in a city or at boss fights, you're going to see your FPS dropping very quickly. The rest of the settings are not so important, so you can watch them, copy them if you want, and that's about it. Next up we have the UI settings, but before I get into those I should first mention how to change your font because I'm not using the default one and if you use the default one and you downscale the UI it's going to look unclear or just bad in general. To change your font all you have to do is to pick one you like and download it, I'm going to have mine linked in the description, then you go to the black desert install directory and you make another folder named pre-string table. In that folder you make another one named uh, font and inside the font folder you put the font you actually downloaded, but you have to rename that one to Perl. Once you have the font installed all you have to do is to restart the game and it should work. 
Now let's go back to talking about my UI settings. So in order to minimize it as much as possible and to make the interface look somewhat clean, I have downscaled my UI to 80%. Depending on what resolution you're playing on, you might use a different value, but for me 80% is the perfect uh, scaling. And also I have everything that's useless disabled, including the quest widget. But if you want, you can keep the quest widget enabled, but only have it show the information when you hover your mouse over it. This way it's not going to show when you don't want to see it and when you want to check the information you can still do that by putting your mouse over it. Also if you want to save just a little bit more space you can use the auto aligned quick slots instead of the normal uh, quick slot bar because those take just a little bit more space. Also as an extra uh, perk you can basically put more quick slots uh, other than the 10 default ones that we have on the normal bar. Another small change that you may not have noticed yet is that you can actually resize the map to be smaller or higher and I myself keep it at a minimum so that I can still see it but just not be that intrusive. The last part of the UI is of course the chat and most people or some people prefer to have uh, multiple chat boxes displaying different types of information but I just like to have one chat that is pretty small and have different tabs for different things. So for example the first one displays everything except the server notifications, the second one is only for guilds uh, and party chats, the third one is pretty much empty and I only use it to record stuff and the fourth one is only whispers in case I need to check them. So for example if someone whispered me 10 hours ago and I was still online I am still going to see that. Basically play with it, put how many tabs you need but in order to keep the UI clean just use one single chat. The last part of the video is about the NVIDIA settings. So for those of you who are using AMD cards, all I can say is that uh, you can take my settings and apply them to your specific control panel. But for those who are using NVIDIA cards, basically either copy and paste my options if you have a similar card or adjust yours to somewhat match uh, mine or basically just play with them until you find something that works. It of course matters a lot if your card is better or worse than mine. But to talk a little bit about these settings, I only noticed two of them to actually make a difference in Black Desert. The first one is the anisotropic filtering and if your card allows it I would strongly advise you to play with this option because in my case it makes a quite uh, noticeable difference about how textures look in game. Basically using it at times 8 which is my normal default option the game itself looks a lot better in terms of texture quality. The second option that makes somewhat of a difference is the texture filtering and I have mine set on quality because my card can handle it. But the counterpart option which is performance will make the textures look a little bit worse but the game is going to run a little bit better. Again I am only trying to show my own settings so you can take them and optimize them for your own computer's hardware. From here I also tried to play with the anti-aliasing option but in Black Desert it doesn't seem to make any difference at all. I basically tried every single option times 4 times 8 and so on but none of them seems to make any visual difference in the game. In fact if you yourself know how I can improve my own settings let me know in the comment section because I am obviously looking for ways to improve my own game. What I have here works and looks good but it may not be the optimal way to run the game. That's pretty much all I have to say about my Black Desert settings. There are obviously many other ways to improve the game's performance like for example not running uh, a lot of background processes or maybe clearing the logs from the Black Desert directory to save some SSD space if you need it and so on. To keep this video somewhat short, I'm going to end it here. So if you want to continue the conversation, just leave me a comment down below and we can discuss about this further. And I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it helped you in some way and if so then I hope to see you next time.